The rising of hot air is a phenomenon we are all familiar with. Yet, the interplay between convective and conductive heat transport is sufficiently complex that theoretical results only exist for the simplest of cases. In this 1948 experiment by Eckert and Sengen, the rising air surrounding a heated plate is photographed. For more complex cases, simulations based on mathematical models are required to predict the behavior of the flow. Since temperature-induced density changes are the driving factor behind the so-called buoyancy force, the appropriate modeling equations are the compressible Navier-Stokes equations. Yet, as density changes are very small, these are quite difficult to computationally approximate. Depending on the simulation details, one can get widely varying results. Clearly, this lack of robustness is undesirable. An alternative approach is to simplify the earlier compressible Navier-Stokes equations with the Boussinesq approximation, where the density is assumed almost constant. Boussinesq then proposed to view the solution field as a perturbation around a steady-state condition, which is a simple stagnant fluid with a hydrostatic pressure distribution. The influence of the small temperature variations on the remaining densities is approximated with a first-order Taylor expansion of the ideal gas law. Substituting these two expressions into the momentum equation results in the Boussinesq approximation of the buoyancy force. This Boussinesq approximation is valid for small temperature variations. If that assumption holds, we indeed observe almost no difference between a simulation based on the Boussinesq approximation and a well-resolved simulation of the compressible Navier-Stokes equations. However, when the temperature differences are increased, the distinction becomes clear. For the earlier experiment by Eckert and Sengen, the temperature differences were small enough for the Boussinesq approximation to hold. Consequently, we get a near-perfect match between physical and computational experiment. For more details on these derivations and simulation results, visit the corresponding post on albumofcfm.com.